What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Slayer's Den. Thank you guys again so, so much for joining me. Today, we are playing a really cool Wither Bloom deck, and this one's based around this card, Blex, Vexing Pest, which is a new Strixhaven card. So I'll do a quick breakdown of the deck, and then we'll go to some really fun gameplay, hopefully. So the namesake card of the deck is Blex, Vexing Pest. This is a new Strixhaven creature for two colorless and a green. It says other pests, bats, insects, snakes, and spiders you control get plus one, plus one. And then when Blex dies, you gain four life. Another really cool part about Blex is the backside of Blex, search for Blex. It's two colorless and two black. It's a sorcery that says look at the top five cards of your library. You can put any number of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. You lose three life for each card put into your hand this way. So this is great when we're running out of answers and we need to find like another mutate creature to add to the stack or if we need some removal. This is just perfect for it. So I wanted to build a deck around all those creature types that Blex pumps up. So I tried to include every single creature type in this deck and we'll start off at the one drop where we have four Zagoth Mambas. These are Nightmare Snakes. It says whenever this creature mutates target creature and opponent controls get minus two minus two until end of turn so this is actually a really good ability it picks off a lot of small creatures whenever we mutate onto it we've also got stone coil serpent which for x mana you can add x plus one plus one counters to it when it enters the battlefield this is a really great card in this deck because not only is it a snake so it gets a bump from blex but also it's a great early game threat if you want to play it for one or two mana and then play a mutate creature onto it or it can be a really huge late game threat when we have a ton of mana at yeah, the three drop spot we've got glowstone recluse which is a spider it says when Whenever this creature mutates, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Basically, this is just great for pumping up our creatures as well. We've also got two copies of a Skeet Swarm, which is a insect that says, whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a one one greet insect creature token. So this is perfect for when we want to create a, just a huge swarm of insects, and then Blex can pump them all up. We managed to include a bat in the deck, so this is Dirge Bat. This is a mutate creature. This is whenever this creature mutates, destroy target creature or planeswalker in opponent control. So this is great. It's just solid removal here. We've got four copies of Gem Razor, four copies of Migratory Great Horn, and of course, four copies of Auspicious Starks to help us cheat in as many permanents as possible and just really take over the game. So another cool card we got from Strixhaven is Tend the Pests. It's an instant that costs one black and one green. It says, as an additional cost to cast a spell, sack a creature, create X11 one, one black and green pest creature tokens with when this creature dies, you gain a life where X is the sacrifice creature's power. So eventually we're going to have a lot of big creatures in here, either with Stone Coil Serpent or a bunch of creatures that get pumped up with Blex. Sacrificing them to Tend the Pests gives us a bunch of of pest tokens so we'll have a huge board and this really combos off really well with bastion of remembrance which is an enchantment we have in the deck it says when bastion of remembrance enters the battlefield we create a 1-1 human soldier creature token but not only that whenever a creature you control dies each opponent loses a life and then you gain a life so this is great because we'll be able to drain the opponent for one life every time one of our creatures die and we have a ton of them in this deck now to help us stay in the game against aggro we do have a couple of copies of heartless act and a couple of copies of blood on the snow which i wanted to try out it seems kind of counterintuitive to have blood on the snow here but there's a lot of aggro decks out there and if we can save our board by destroying all the creatures and bringing back like an auspicious starks or something like that i think it's worth it to clear the board on the opponent's side so that way we continue our stack of mutate creatures overall the deck seems super bonkers and i'm so hyped to play this one for you guys thank you guys again so so much for checking out the video i hope you enjoy it and if you do please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me not only is it a great way to support my channel which means the world to me guys but also allows the youtube algorithm to share this video and the rest of my videos with even more MTG fans out there and that means a ton because it signals to the YouTube algorithm that I'm a content creator that you enjoy and I'm a content creator that other MTG fans will enjoy as well so thank you guys again so so much and without further ado let's play some Magic the Gathering Greek Fury um yeah we can hold on to this one I think and play a forest. Just go next. End the turn. Positions expert. Sure. Um, drop the. Do we drop that? Yes, we do. Play this for two. I'm assuming they've got some removal. Seen a lot of mono black. These dies. Elspeth's nightmare. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Let's get this as a green source and play glowstone recluse. A non-creature, non-land card, you say? <clears throat> okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead and uh, play a gem razor. Swing in for six. And let the uh, Black's Wither Bloom beatdown commence. It's <laughs> the opponent's game plan. Alright, we'll go ahead and drop the uh, gem razor here. This dude is a little punk with all his discards. <laughs> Alright, let's play Skew Swarm and a Swamp. Now, is the opponent running like a sweeper? Turgrid's Lantern. Okay. Sweet. Uh, let's go ahead and s lose three life. <clears throat> Suck it, Greek Fury, and your stupid Turgrid Lantern. Okie dokie. Maybe they do have a sweeper. If that's the case, there's not really much I could do either way, so. <laughs> okay. Wow. Uh, you know, it feels so good to destroy an opponent who has this in their deck. Look at this bullshit. It's like, are you a dickhead? Yes, you are. So what do you guys think about Strixhaven? I was wanting to know what you guys thought about the sets. I've heard kind of mixed reviews. Some people are saying one of the greatest sets. Some people are just saying it's just kind of meh. Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. Oh my god. Please do not make me go against another damn discard deck. Please don't make me, and please don't make me. Ah. Eat a dick. Uh, let's see. First of all, mm, fuck you. Fuck you too. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck you. You just got Myers grasped. <laughs> okay. Uh. What were you thinking, homie? Were you thinking I'd have no answer for you, you son of a bitch? Can we see the scoop? Can I get a scoop? <clears throat> you gonna make me sack it and discard a card? Oh, okay. Sweet. Let's play this and let's play... Bastion of Remembrance. And let's play. Stone Coil Serpent for two. Myers Grasp. Okay. Um, ooh, I'd love to have a mutate creature here. It doesn't look like we're gonna have that opportunity. So let's go ahead and blex ourselves. Ooh, I like that. All right, so we'll take one of these, one of these. Uh, we do need the land too. Damn, so many choices. <laughs> Should we just lose 12 life here for no fucking reason? Um, take nine here. Play this, and we'll do no attacks.
Maya's grasp. My only weakness. Okay. Uh, so this gives us a couple of options here. So, first things first, let's go in binding. Let's get rid of that bad boy. Okay. What do we want to do now? Sure. You got it, boss. And the turn. Cut the fucking check. Let's go. We'll take one. My turn. We grab a forest. We will play a forest. Let's play a Zagoth Mamba. It's time to Mamba. I'm sure they've got some instant speed removal here. Oh, they don't. Okay. Mamba. Village rights. You can also see them doing. Great story, man. Okay. So what are our outs here? Um, trying to think. Ten the pests could give us six pests. And what are they running? They're running what kind of removal? They're running rankle. That's fine. That shit is dead. Okay, so let's first do what we came here to do, which is to fuck up the opponents. Sure. All right. So the forest. We'll swing it for six. Feel like we've got a good shot at this game just because bastion really kind of pads our life total a little bit yes let's go let's fucking go oh, man been playing a lot of uh mono black decks and uh kind of annoying right kind of annoying but gg either way sage tbh versus a Luris deck okay we're gonna keep this because look how juicy this mutate stack we have in the works is uh i love this uh these slaves these are so these are really cute all right so what we need is like a stone coil serpent a zagoth mamba maybe one of those things uh, are we going against fucking enchantments again yes we are super annoying all right Alright, what does the scarring do? Future dies, draw a card. Okay, sure. Next, end the turn. Cut the check. Yeah, this deck, uh, our hand, our opening hand was kind of slow. It was pretty greedy, I'm not gonna lie. But, I made the choice. And I'm going to live with it. And an Archfiend's Vessel, you son of a gun. Alright, let's go play this, and... I guess we just go ahead and binding that. They'll draw some cards, but, you know, it is what it is, right? Okay, take one. Grab a forest, and uh, sure, grab one of these bad boys, and hopefully we can just start stacking on that. I just get Heartless acted over here though, or double Myers Grass, Myers Grass Moga's favor, got some options here. Okay. So let's see what we want to do. I think we'll just go ahead and uh, do this for now. Then we'll grab a swamp, sure. And 
destroy that. And also swing in for four, sure. So we kind of wipe their board. Um, we get to return some creatures, that's fine. And bring back the Lurus. Gross. Uh, so first thing, let's go ahead and Auspicious here. Make it harder for them to kill just using strictly enchantments. And we'll swing it for six, sure. has got some Kareecharoos. That's yeah, getting scary. I think they might Mogus favor my Skeet Swarm, which is completely fine. It's certainly something I would consider. Cool. Infernal Scarring. Okay. Yeah, this can't block, so that's good. Okay, so first things first. Let's do this. See what we can find. Grab a green mana. And some more Mambas. And sure. Grab a swamp. Well, there's good old Black. And this is a 12-12 Trample, so let's definitely swing in with that. And so what I probably should have done was... Oh man, kill the fucking Lurus, to be completely honest. That was my bad. But I think I'm okay. I think, think, think I'm alright. All right, Infernal Scarring, sure, 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 sure. That's also fine. They should be dead on board based on what we've got here because they've only got three blockers technically and we just have, we've got 12 power coming in right there. Like it should be GG. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, once this deck gets rolling, there's like a ton of raw power. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, this was like a total fucking beatdown once I got Auspicious Starx online, but uh, yeah, GG. Good to beat another deck that consists of this fuckery, because it's getting kind of annoying. Sniffnix. Yeah, this is actually a pretty decent hand, I think. So we're play Swamp, go next, and the turn. And we'll wait till turn two to Stone Coil, just in the hopes that we can actually keep, um, just in the hopes that we can actually keep the Stone Coil on the board somehow, and then play a Mutate creature onto it. Because if we can do that, then we are we're in great shape. We'll have a six six on the board uh, potentially if I play Gem Razor. Um, if it dies, then next turn I just play a three mana Stone Coil Serpent. Then we'll have a 7-7 seven, seven the following turn, so we've got some good shit. But hopefully the opponent is just on some bullshit. Okay. Um Let's play this. Draw out the counter spell or the burn spell. It's probably um giant. Stomp. Always seems to happen that way, doesn't it? Oh, okay. So just thrill of possibility, sure. Just going for a hot six then. Some of the better turn three plays in the game, to be completely honest, especially ones that aren't, you know, based on just combo kills. I actually really love this Blex card because being able to search the top five cards of your library and then just drawing all five if you want, if you have enough life for it is so much flexibility. It's a four mana draw five. You do lose a shit ton of life, but 
I mean, is it really a downside if, you know, you're getting to find all your combo pieces and stuff? I don't think so. It's pretty good. Alright, so we'll go ahead and, um... One more time. Grab a forest. A forest. There we go. And we'll just end the turn. So what does the opponent got for us here? We have protection from multicolor, which is so sick, especially against these Prismari decks, because they have a lot of multicolor burn spells. Oh yeah, this dude's about to get fucked. Okay, so they got two life left, and we're just gonna end the turn. <laughs> okay. Yes, guys. Yes. This deck is bonkers. This deck is fucking bonkers. It is. It's fun. This is my favorite. I am a Wither Bloom, so I really love this deck. Um, but yeah, GG. Oof. Oof, oof, oof. And if we draw a Swamp, this is uh, a lot better hand. Not gonna lie. Let's do it. Let's risk it for the biscuit. If we can get that swamp, we have what the kids call a bomb ass hand. I don't know any kids who say that. <laughs> um, but we do have a decent chance. Okay. Huh. All right. Um. Sure. We got. We'll just play it. Oh, why the fuck not? It's the only way we're going to be able to get into Gem Razor. And if we do this, we can actually get them to use their Heartless Act on us here. And then we can um, Glowstone Recluse on our following turn. And we still get essentially the same effect. So. Sure. Hey, you got it, boss. Then we get a little blocker for Righteous Valkyrie too. But uh, yeah, we definitely need that Swamp. Because uh, the sooner we get that Swamp, definitely the better. Oh, okay. Uh, no blocks? No blocks. What am I thinking? Of course no blocks. Okay. Um, so I was going to do this. This over. Grab a swamp. Swing it. Swing in, because then we'll just have these puny mortals on the other side of the table. The next turn, I can uh, like heartless binding. We have some options. It's kind of nice. Okay. Play this as a black source. And I think we go ahead and just destroy this, I guess. Gives us the chance to stop them from foretelling everything. It's kind of annoying. That was actually really cool. That was that was good. I agree. That was greatness. Okay, so play the forest. No oh, best turn. That's fine. Because we still have binding. That's kind of fucked though. But I will just binding their righteous Valkyrie anyway, so I'm not too worried about it, I guess. And yeah, Zagoth Mamba, it is. Zagoth Mamba. And a Speaker of the Heavens, you son of a gun. Oh, 
All right, you son of a gun. <laughs> All right, uh, so what can we do here? We'll grab a forest. Play this. Next, end the turn. Hmm. Do I want to take four is the question. Sure. Okay, um... No attacks, and the turn. Cutting it a little close here, guys. Cutting it a little close. Uh-uh-uh. Okay. You're dead. Oh, wait, what? Why didn't it have... Oh, okay. Well, whatever. The Bastion of Remembrance. End the germ. And end the germ. So what is this? Put a plus one on each creature that enters the battlefield. Okay, sure. You got it, boss. Drena. Nasty. You hate to see it. Not a fan of seeing it at all. Lock here. They create the... Yeah, they got to create it beforehand. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Do I have outs here? So, if I destroy this, I'll take probably seven. I don't think I have something that can destroy that, though. Do I? Let me see. Yep. GG. Ah, man, that was tough. Sniffnix again. Damn you, Sniffnix. All right. Did I just play Sniffnix? I hope not. All right, we'll go and keep this one. Play our Mamba. Zagath. Mamba. Swing in for good old one. Alright, so is Sniffnix... I can't remember what the hell Sniffnix is, actually. You're playing a control deck, maybe. You're playing Ops. Is this the Quandrix deck? No, this is the Is It deck. Okay. Interesting. Sniffnix wants the rematch. They might have us here because I kept a really greedy hand. Um, but if they don't do anything to my Zagoth, then we might be okay. Question mark. It's migratory here. Grab a snow covered swamp. Opponent's gonna play card draw spell, right? Uh, sure, we'll swing in for three. And the next turn we can glowstone recluse, swing in for five, and we might just have enough mana to auspicious starks by the following turn. Yes. I do remember this deck and this opponent now. Okay. I wonder if this is like a... This is a giant deck for sure, but... I wonder what kind of burn spells they're running. Maybe burn or bounce. Demon bolts could be a thing. Iron crag. Okay, sure.
Go forest. Swing in. Close down to 11. So if they draw a second card and then burn me, they could kill Migratory. But if they don't kill Migratory this um, this turn, then I have a strong feeling that it could be GG. So we shall see. Elise LZ. Alright, Snipnix. What you got going on? Okay. Um, so first things first, let's go ahead and destroy that. That way we can draw the counter spell. Oh, no counter spell? Really? Really? Gonna do three to me. One takes five. And sure. Let's refill our hand. Got one of these, one of these, one of these. Play forest. Now I'm going against a burn deck, so dropping down to eight is super, super duper greedy, but sometimes you gotta be greedy, right? I think sometimes you just gotta be really greedy. So they opt burn me. On my turn, opt burn me. All right, we're gonna do it. Damn, did I get too greedy? I might have just got too greedy by Pulling in three cards off of the Blex. Woof. Alright, let's see. So they have six mana available. That's definitely... There's a few spells out there. Especially with a hand. He's got six cards in hand. That could really fuck me up. Improbable Alliance. Okay. Fire Prophecy. Which gives him the 1-1. One, one. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, they're like, I'll be able to withstand this mutate deck. He definitely doesn't have any removal spells. <laughs> All right, well, GG. So I won the rematch too. So I am the champ over Sniffnix, at least. All right, folks, this looks like the perfect place to end today's video. And holy cow, I had a ton of fun playing this deck. Um, I haven't messed around too much with all the Wither Bloom cards that just got released in Strixhaven, but this, uh, this deck showed up and all the cards in it, the new Strixhaven cards really showed up as well. I love all the synergies in here. I'm super hyped and actually really pleasantly surprised by Blex because the backside of the card is just bonkers when you just need lots of answers, especially in a mutate deck where you need to keep finding mutate creatures in order to get all that value because search for blex really hooks you up with a ton of cards looking at the top five cards of your library and putting any amount of them into your hand um, at the cost of three life each is really negligible especially if you're about to like pop off and like you know create a huge stack of auspicious starxes doesn't really matter at that point because you're probably going to win but yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck as much as i enjoyed playing it thank you guys again so so much for taking time out of your day to check this video out i really really appreciate it and all of your support if you guys did enjoy the vid please remember to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me because it does really help my channel out a ton. Not only that, it signals to the YouTube algorithm that I'm an MTG content creator that you enjoy and an MTG content creator that other MTG fans will enjoy as well. So thank you guys again so, so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to smash that like button below and to help you stay up to date with my upcoming videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks again. Have a great day. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
Peace out, Slayers.